Hi guys, so good to see you again. So today I thought that I would share with you some of the new clothing things that I picked up. Uh, a couple weeks ago I asked you guys if you'd be interested in seeing some of the things that I wear to work. Uh, if you don't know already, I am a teacher and I do work in a more professional, more conservative type environment. Like I can't wear jeans to work except for on Fridays. So I do have to wear nicer clothes Monday through Thursday. And I got some questions about like what I wear to work and that sort of thing. So I thought that I would show you in this video. This video is just kind of like a uh, like hodgepodge of different clothing items that I've picked up in the past like I don't know a month or so. So some of the things that I've worn and actually I apologize in advance because some of the things that I just took out of the washing machine so they're still wet on a hanger drying. Um, but those items I actually did take pictures of me wearing since I have already worn them. So I will insert those pictures so that way you guys can actually see those things on. Um, and then some of the other things that I got are maybe not necessarily for work but just some fun things that I picked up um, while shopping for work stuff. So if you want to check out what I've actually been picking up lately in terms of like fall clothes, then let's get going. The first thing that I picked up is um, very boring and plain and I haven't worn it yet because it's still like sweltering hot here in Southern California, but this is just a long boyfriend cardigan from Banana Republic. Banana Republic is probably one of my favorite places to shop for work clothes. I really like Banana Republic and I like J. Crew. So if you like those kinds of styles, then you'll probably enjoy some of the pieces that I have in here. But this is what it looks like and I don't have a picture of me wearing it yet just simply because I haven't worn it, but I will put it on right now for you so that way you can kind of see at least how it hangs. It's probably not going to be very obvious because I am wearing a black dress, but it is um, longer. It goes all the way to kind of covering your rear, and then it does have this button detail on the side. And so it's just a nice cover-up for, you know, when you're inside, I guess. And another thing too, I never buy anything full price from Banana Republic or J. Crew, <laughs> uh, just because they do have frequent sales. Also, if you are a teacher, you can get a discount at Banana Republic and at J. Crew if you shop in store. Both of them, I believe, are 15% off. Plus, you can get that on top of whatever sale they're having on going on at that moment. So that's kind of a important thing to remember if you like shopping those places. Or if you're a student too, if you're a student, they'll take a student ID as well. The next thing that I purchased, this is soaking wet, so I do apologize, it's going to look very wrinkly, but this is a skirt. And this skirt is like a burgundy color. And it does hit me at my knee, so it is long enough for me to wear to work. It does kind of have this like um, creepy wrinkled material, but it is made out of cotton and polyester. So it is a very thick material. You're definitely not going to be able to see anything through this, um, which is some of the problems that I've been running into when trying to shop for clothes for work when it's still really hot outside, a lot of the things that I've been finding that I really like online, I have them delivered to me and then they're too sheer. But this is very, it's a very sturdy, very structured type skirt, so you won't have any issues with that. It does have a zipper in the back. There's no slit or anything, but it does kind of have these pleat details up in the front, so it kind of hides a belly area. Um, and then it does have pockets too on the sides, which I really do like that as well. And I actually have worn this, which is why it is um, drying because I just washed it. So I will insert a picture here in just a second of what it looks like on uh, with this other top that I ended up wearing it with. So this is, again, it is wet because I just pulled it out of the washing machine and this was really the only time that I would have time to film this video. But... <sighs> So Ricky, my fiance, oh yeah, I forgot, to, I, I haven't been on YouTube in a while, so I did get engaged, which I will probably make a separate video about that, um, but anyways, my fiance said that he gets uh, Colonel Sanders vibes from this top, which is kind of true, but this trend, this is a big trend in the fall right now, this kind of like ruffly top with the um, black tie at the neck. So I do really like this. This came from J. Crew, and again, it is very wrinkly because it is wet, but it is very thick. Again, another problem with white tops um, when you're trying to wear them in a professional environment is a lot of times they're see-through, so they're sheer, but this is not see-through at all. It is a very thick material, um, and yet it has that uh, tank top 
look to it so that way it's a little bit cooler when it's still really hot outside. So I do really like this. I do love that it's not dry clean only as well. You can wash it in the washing machine, which is a huge plus for me. And then the next item that I have, this is from Banana Republic. Again, I will do my best to link everything down below for you so that it's easy for you to find. This is from Banana Republic and I love this top. Um, I have found that this kind of ruffle detailing on the sleeves is uh, very trendy right now, but it's kind of an understated trend. It's not super out there. Um, I find that this is very flattering on the arms too. I got tons of compliments when I wore this top to work and um, it looks sheer, but I didn't have any problems with um, wearing a nude color bra underneath and wearing it to work. So I really like this. It does have a button detail in the back and it is open just a tiny bit, but it was totally fine because I was wearing my hair down um, but I, I do I really like this top I am a sucker for stripes so anything striped I'm like give it to me and I wore this with um, black pixie pants from J. Crew. If you're not familiar with pixie pants from J. Crew, you need to make yourself familiar because they are literally the best pants ever. They're like uh, leggings that you can wear to work. I always make sure that I have something that's covering my bum. They're not see-through at all, but just because they are like thick leggings, um, I prefer to wear a top that's a little bit longer um, in the back. But that's what I wore that top with and some shoes that I'm going to show you guys in just a second, but I will insert a picture of what that outfit looked like. And then the next top I got from Banana Republic, this I love because I feel like it reminds me of Dalmatian print and I think Dalmatian print is kind of making a, a little bit of a, a comeback here in the fall. I love it because it goes with everything. To me, this is a neutral. I could wear it with pretty much any color and it would look good. This, again, if I didn't say it, it is from Banana Republic and it is this um, kind of chiffon style top with a peplum bottom and this does not, like the shirt is very like loose so it doesn't gather, it's not tight anywhere on the uh, body so it's very like flowy I would say and it does have the short sleeve length and then this tie neck detail right here uh, even though it is like a v-neck right here it doesn't show cleavage or anything like that so it is very work appropriate but I would totally wear this out with some like burgundy skinny jeans in the fall with some cute heels and I think it would be really cute so I do like the peplum detailing on the bottom I just think it gives the top kind of a, a different style to it so uh, I did wear this and I can't remember what pants I wore these with, but I will insert a picture here again for you. This is a top that I wore, and I ended up wearing this with my hot pink teaks. If you are a teacher or you are working on your feet all day, you stand a lot during the day, I would highly recommend teaks. Um, in fact, let me show them to you. So I have three pairs of these. I have red pair, a black pair, and then these pair these pair, this pair, these are I think the hot pink or the fuchsia color, fuchsia color. Um, but I like the turquoise detailing on the bottom and these are actually, it's not just for looks, these are pads on the bottom. So a lot of times I find flats don't give enough support if you're standing all day, but these are very, very comfortable. I could wear, I could walk a marathon in these. Notice I say walk a marathon because I'm not running a marathon, but these are very, very comfortable. I love these. Otherwise, I wouldn't have three pairs of them. You may have seen me wearing these shoes in one of the previous pictures. These are the Tory Burch Minis. I am obsessed with these shoes. These are the best Tory Burch flats I have ever purchased. I've had Rivas. I've had um, the new Rivas, and I've had a pair of wedges. They're Tory Burch wedges that are um, like a. Uh, they kind of look like Reva's except it has a wedge on it. I have some other Tory Burch shoes, but as far as like the flats are concerned, um, these are by far the most comfortable. They do have a much more squishy sole, and even though it has this scrunching on the back, which with the old Reva's, it had this scrunching and it was very uncomfortable. It really dug into your heel. These ones don't at all. I also found that um, another pair of Tory Burch flats that I had in the past, I actually ended up just tossing them because they were trashed anyways, um, but they have like the gold metal detailing on the toe area, and this one is a much 
I don't know what it's made out of, but it's much softer. So I found with my old shoes, like the metal detailing would really hurt the like knuckles on my toes, but these ones don't. Have so these ones are just a much softer material right in the toe area. So hopefully you can hear that. Like it's still a metal, but it's much more gentle on the toes. I can't even explain to you why these are so much more comfortable in reality, but they really are so much better. So these are the minis. And I got these um, in the light oak color. I will link them down below. And I actually just purchased a black pair that are on their way to my house right now. Um, so really love these. These are great for when you're standing all day as well. Okay, so these shoes I actually bought during the anniversary sale with Nordstrom. And I didn't do a video on that because by the time I received the things that, I, that had been shipped to me, by the time I got them and was ready to film a video, everything was sold out and I just didn't think that, that was very nice to do. <laughs> I didn't want to put up a video and be like, oh, here's what I got, but sorry, you can't get it. So I just scratched the idea of doing it. These are back in stock now, but these are by Hinge and I haven't worn these yet, but here's the shoe. It does buckle right there, but uh, I believe that this is about three and a half inch heel. But it's very, very comfortable. I have like a hair in my eyelash. They're very, very comfortable. They don't have a platform, which I really like because I'm just kind of over the whole platform um, shoe trend. Um, but I think that these are gr a great shoe and they're very affordable. Hinge is a brand made by Nordstrom. Uh, it is a Nordstrom brand. And these are just, it's a great shoe. It does have a suede uh, finish on it and the buckle doesn't bother my ankle whatsoever. And because it is a block heel, it's very, very easy to walk in. So I think I could even get away with wearing these to work even though it is a heel and I'm standing all day just because they are so comfortable. And I could totally see me wearing these all fall and winter with skinny jeans and a top to go out. So I'm really excited about these. I did buy them in two colors. I bought these black ones and then I also bought, let me grab the other ones, and then I also bought this uh, camel color too. So again, same exact shoe, just in a different color. And my sister told me the other day, she's like, um, cause we both do the same thing. Anytime I like something, I buy it in every color because I know that I'm gonna wear it. So she said to me the other day that um, one of her gay friends told her that that's like a gay man's nightmare like gay men don't like it when people in general buy the same thing in a bunch of different colors and like I guess I'm a gay man's nightmare so if you're a gay man and you're out there is that is that a fact or was that guy just making that up so let me know because I do that all the time totally guilty of buying a one thing that I like in a bunch of different colors but apparently that's a faux pas what are you gonna do? So anyways, these are the exact same shoe, just in the camel color, and I'm super excited to wear these as well. Haven't worn them yet, just because, I mean, I ha I'm kind of scared to wear them to work just because I don't want to be dying halfway through the day, but I think I may just go for it, and then if I am dying, I'll just bring a pair of backup shoes that I can change into. So I do really like these. I think I'll wear them a ton in the fall. Speaking of buying shoes in the same color, so I bought those two shoes. I bought the Tory Burches in the nude and the black. The black are on their way. I also found these shoes and I snapped about these. I went shopping, I was going back to school shopping with Ricky the other day and I saw these at Nordstrom and I tried them on and I fell in love with them. <laughs> like I seriously haven't felt that way about a shoe in a long time. So so dramatic I know so anyways but Ricky was like you know you're supposed to be buying school stuff and you're not gonna wear those to school you're not gonna be able to wear them every day to school because of the heel and I'm like I know well I listened to him I left without them and then I had like non buyers remorse I seriously left and I could not stop thinking about these shoes so he's like just get them so I did and <laughs> These are them right here. These are by Vince Camuto, and I, I, I honestly think that Vince Camuto can do no wrong. Whoever is doing the designing of their shoes is just like, yes, I'm obsessed. These are called, these are called the Coral. It's K-O-R-A-L. This is in a gray color. It does have the open toe, and Vince Camuto's shoes and booties more in particular, 
if you've ever owned a pair, you know that the sole is very squishy, so they're very comfortable on your feet. And this is a four inch heel, so I won't wear these to work probably ever, just because I'll be dying. But they are very comfortable, and they're very easy to walk in, again, because of this block heel. I love that it's cut open right here, and it does have these like laser cutout details on the top of the shoe, and then on the other side, it does zip up, so they're very, very easy to get on. This is in the gray color, and then I also bought them in the brown color, so I will show you guys those. So I actually bought another pair of shoes during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. They were the, I think they were Vince Camuto, Vince Camuto Kathleen shoe. They were very popular if you were looking at bloggers or Instagrammers that were posting pictures of their um, Nordstrom anniversary sale finds, then you probably saw those shoes. But I tried them on in store, they didn't have them in my size, but I tried on a different color in the size that I needed and they fit fine. Well then they sent me this, the color that I needed and then when I put those on they were way too tight so I was like, Ugh, whatever. So I was gonna go just return them but then I went to the, when I went to the mall to return them, I saw these, which of course I already have, but this color wasn't available online yet so I ended up purchasing these. Um, they are very similar to the ones that I exchanged anyways but these just fit a lot better and they are more comfortable. So again, open toe, laser detailing on the top and then the black heel. But this, I love the color of these. It's not brown, it's not khaki, it's not beige, it's not taupe, it's not olive green. It's kind of like a mix of all of those. It's like, I would say like a greenish tone brown which sounds kind of ugly but I actually really like the color of these because I just think that they're a little bit different so um, I'm looking forward to going on dinner dates and wearing these because I probably will not be wearing them to work and uh, I know I got a couple other things but um, mostly just uh, two pairs of jeans from the anniversary sale I bought a pair of Hudson's and then a pair of um, AG Farah jeans they were the black high-waisted jeans um, and I don't have a picture of me wearing them, but I will show them to you anyways. Um, they are more high-waisted, and so I'm really excited to wear these with some of the short, some of the shirts that are on trend right now are just shorter, and I'm really not a fan of crop tops, but if I'm wearing high-waisted jeans, then I can live with it if it's a little bit shorter. So I am very excited about these. If you haven't tried a pair of AG jeans, then you need to run out and get a pair because they are just so comfortable. Um, they really just mold to your skin very, very well. They're form fitting, but they're not too tight where they feel like they're cutting off your circulation. <laughs> and then I also got a pair of these Hudson's. These are the, I think they're called the Colette jeans. So the back is, it doesn't have the typical um, flat pocket that a lot of Hudson's do have. It just has the, well, hang on one. Um, they don't have the flat pocket, it just has the regular flat pocket in the back. And then they are a um, skinny, bottom as well and I have worn these and these are amazing I wore these to work on Friday because I can actually wear jeans on Fridays but it does have this kind of detailing right here and then the rest is just a flat blue color so um, I do really like those I would definitely recommend getting a pair of AG jeans or Hudson's because those are my two favorite brands of denim I think I got through everything. Um, I will keep you guys updated on anything that I just completely fall in love with after wearing it if I haven't worn it already. And if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I will do my best to link everything down below for you, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!